okay. So, low, low speed thrust vectoring is, um, not exactly a new kind of thought. Thrust vectoring is something I've experimented before, but this is the first time I've actually come up with an advanced thrust vectoring system that's three-dimensional. Not 2D, like, up, down, left, right. This is, this is roll, pitch, yaw. So, normally, I only get pitch, and, but if I press my Y key, it's, it's full activation. Now, on certain aircraft, this is a little unstable, because, um, the, the canard world is real. So if I just turn it off for a second, this is the, I believe, this is the, um, the TK-15 UMKK, and it's a prototype with physical countermeasures, um, little new, um, especially the type given in the fleet naval arm, but most importantly, this prototype has low-speed thrust vectoring. Now, for something like this thing, with already one of the most maneuverable, if not the most maneuverable aircraft ever built in TNC history, this is a little overkill. Because the first turn was already deadly enough. Now you're just impossible to beat in the first turn, and now with low-speed thrust vectoring, you can keep your nose authority relatively high uh, against an enemy. Um, for a foreseeable amount of time, I mean... It takes a lot to get on the six of one of these, and it takes a lot of auto-aim to really take one of these things down. It only gets one minigun, so, you know, you're not exactly the most powerful thing in the world. But, for an air, air, air support, superiority aircraft, this thing is a little bit of, um, unnecessary, dare I say. It's got full thrust vectoring, low-speed thrust vectoring with canards, meaning it is one of the best first-turn doctrine aircraft the CCG Fleet Naval Arm has ever made. And I broke my tail hook, so this is gonna suck, yep. That's just one aircraft, though, but for other aircraft, like this TK-17 pre-series, this is a TK-17KK. It has the low-speed thrust vectoring module as well. I haven't added canards on this thing, because that is for a later variant to try out, but... This thing was already the fastest and one of the more stable of all the... Um, of all the terrors, because it has a lot more propulsion, making sure it stays on track a lot better. You don't have physical countermeasures whatsoever, you have a fuel pod, because this is high fuel consumption, so you need one. But this is just pitch vectoring, just one-dimensional pitch vectoring, and it's very responsive. And then I press my Y key. And all of a sudden, this aircraft is insane. It can't really first turn, like, the, the Block 19, Block 20, TK-15, the Super Terror. But it, um... It is a lot more stable of a turn, so you could probably rate fight with this thing, which is a little scary to think about, because it's a terror rate fighting, not something it was ever designed to do. As well, it's a MiG-29 based terror, so it's pretty fat, but that the extra weight that this thing comes with makes it very, very stable. I mean, it also gets a fat air brake too, but nobody cares. It, it's mostly the low-speed thrust vectoring module. Sure, if I added something like the, the Jitter G-Limiter, this thing would be incredibly stable in flight. But I actually don't have very much uh, complexity left on this thing. Oh no. I don't sense this is going well. That did not go well. But the point being, for a thrust vectoring... vectoring? For a thrust vectoring module, this low speed thrust vector module is incredibly advanced. It has, you need like eight blocks of logic for this thing. You need six hinges, or ten hinges, I'm sorry, ten hinges and rotating for 
the most advanced avionics you can probably get. And this is this is a terror. I mean, it already has pretty advanced avionics. Um, well, it's necessary to have those. This is this just gets insane because I'm planning with the last twenty five something in complexity. I'm gonna try and save up some complexity, of course. Maybe I'll take these off and the pylons off, maybe even the fuel pod, and I'll I'll add canards on this thing. Canards. So, this thing will be hopefully more stable than the other Terror, just way fatter, and more of a rate fighter than any first turn Doctrine plane. Which is, of course, we were... the, the, the FNA would always be going for first turn because, well, pulling 15G maneuvers is just pretty cool. But this is just getting insane, I mean, bordering on insanity. You took a su I've taken a super maneuverable aircraft and given it thrust vectoring. Something I came up with at 11pm at night in my head. And look at this thing. 